Hello, this is Eunice here. So I'm testing to see if anyone actually comes into my Facebook Live. So let's have a look. Okay, um, but I'm not gonna be waiting much. Okay, so uh, I hope everyone can hear me. If you can't hear me, then please do let me know. All right. Alright, <laughs> I see some reactions already, so I'm happy with that already. Okay, uh, so good afternoon everyone, my name is Eunice Leong Mason. I'm sure some of you have been aware that I have been uh, very active recently in sharing videos and also uh, some pages over a uh, Facebook page or my YouTube channel. So, um, main reason why is because Aristotle once said that for everything that we have learned before, we can do them but we learn by doing them. So actually I've been learning uh, a course called the production of multimedia in teaching uh, this semester under uh, a lecturer called Dr. Muhammad Sheryl Nizam in University of Malaya. I'm doing my master's study right now. So the best way for me to implement what I have learned uh, is to do it immediately and to share out to everyone out there. So I hope that uh, other people will actually benefit from what I learned as well. So that's why I've been sharing codes, I've been sharing videos online, I've been making educational videos. So uh, it's a way for me to share out to everyone out there. So it is also a method, uh, it is also a method for me to uh, produce even better videos in the future so that I can actually use it back later on when I go back into my work, uh, the teaching work. Okay, so. Um, I've been trying some animation software, okay, uh, if you would have watched my video uh, using Plotagon that I sent out yesterday, uh, that was using Plotagon animation, uh, I shared out some of the things that I've learned, I, uh, that is Canva and also Lumen5, so my logo down here and also up there, alright, that is actually created using Lumen5, some, even my backdrop, alright, this backdrop that I have over here was created using Lumen5, uh, was you uh, created using Canva, not Lumen Five? I'm nervous. Okay, so um, comparing with animation, I animation videos. I prefer to share it out uh, this way, so I can actually talk more. Okay, I prefer sharing it in person. You can see me better. Even uh, Dr. Cheryl also mentioned that if we are we are going into uh, education and learning online right now, so instead of just normal PowerPoint or PDF, it's better that our students can hear us, can see our expression. So that would be even better for them. It has even more effect. So um, for today, I actually want to share out what I uh, the other half part that I've learned in uh, production of multimedia in teaching. So I'm not going to repeat about Canva or Lumen5 and also um, a little bit about digital identity here. So I'm going to share about something else. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to share for this particular FB Live is I'm going to share regarding Plotagon. Okay. I'm going to show you how Plotagon looks like. Alright, this is actually a video that I did using Plotagon, okay? So, oh, okay, wait, uh, I saw sound with echo. Let me reduce the echo a bit. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, is there still echo here right now? I hope not. Okay, I think that's because I opened two right now. Okay, is it better? Okay, so um, this particular video, if you've seen, I actually shared it out yesterday. Uh, this video was actually done using Plotagon. Alright, uh, it's a way that we can create videos. Uh, it's You can actually use it for free, uh, but obviously there will be watermark. As you can see up there, alright, behind my, my branding logo, there's a P there. It's actually the Plotagon uh, uh, trademark. If you download the latest version, the Plotagon trademark is actually going to be in the middle. Okay, so... Um, but there, we can actually create quite a lot of stuff with the uh, free plans of the software. Even Canva and Lumen5 that I did was also under the uh, free version also. So, alright, thank you. Hi, Yap. Hi, Hi, Uyuji Guze. Alright, so um, first off, okay, let me show you how I actually did on my Plotagon. Okay, so this is how the Plotagon looks like. Okay. Alright, so uh, all you have to do is actually click on animate. Alright, I'm gonna click on animate here. 
Okay, over here we can you can actually see these are actually some of the videos that I have already done previously. Alright, so we can click on characters. Alright, these are some of again these are some of the characters that I did previously. Uh I did my own version. That's Eunice Me over here, and then that's uh my version of my elder daughter in the future, like cartoon version. Then uh, I did a version of my husband and then my cousin's sister, and then these are all the Kelefe, the site characters that I created. So uh, actually we can create it using this. Okay, we have the male version or you can have the female version. Uh, we can change the skin color. Alright, so then we can change the face size, alright, the face shapes. And then we can change the hair. Uh, obviously this is a girl. Okay, uh, then I can change the hair colors and more. Alright. Uh, this is moustache for guys, we can change the eyebrows, okay, if I want, I can make the eyebrow with even Changi looking eyebrow, eyeshadow and everything, then the eyebrow also I can change, the lips I can have different different colours, so you get the point, we can actually create the characters over here, alright, I pakai letak sekarang, the shoes, okay, uh, but one thing regarding Plotagon is that the voice, the voice if you notice from the video that I done, I did yesterday, uh, I actually narrate that and I use the help of my husband uh, Raymond and also from my cousin sister Ching Hui because uh, the animation voice for this particular one is very the robotic. How do I sound? Okay, I hope you can hear that, that's very very robotic, okay. So uh, once you have created that, we can go back next and then we can plot alright you can actually click on the plots we can choose the uh, scene who's sitting where and then doing what so let's uh, try one thing one very funny one so Ernesto is the guy on the trying to eat the popcorn and then Mahatma Gandhi is the other one so let's see uh, give a high five and then from the top Let's play and see. Hello. Wait, wait. High five. Alright, so that's actually how I created the Plotagon. Okay, uh, I've spent quite some time just to produce like 15 minutes uh, video. So they really say very a lot of things to do like, before a video can actually be created out. Okay. Alright, next. Okay, the next thing that I want to share that I learned from uh, this particular course is called OBS, the Open Broadcasting Software. If you would notice, um, what is OBS is actually this whole entire setup I'm having right now, where I can put the footer, I can put the the branding up there, my background, and then I, if you notice, uh, I actually have a green screen behind me. So uh, this whole entire uh, FB Live was actually used. Uh, broadcast and also screen live using OBS. Uh, it's a very, to me, I feel very, very curious when I learn something and I, if I want to do something better, I will do it all the way. So uh, our lecturer taught us a few very basic stuff. So I went and did even more changi because as you can see behind here, my hand will disappear halfway because that is the limit of my green screen. Okay. Um, Broadcasting, uh, this OBS actually gave me a feel of how the TV broadcasts are actually carried out. So uh, what you can see right there is a plain simple background, my footer, my uh, image, and then you can see my brand. But actually I'm looking at my desktop, my laptop with a lot of programs running background. So <laughs> yep, I'm not going to go onto Streamlab OBS. This OBS is good enough for me already. So... Okay, um, so this is actually what I've been learning. This is OBS and just now was uh, Plotagon. Okay, now what I'm going to talk about next is that uh, when we are actually creating online stuff, all right, uh, my lecturer actually says that it's very, very important that we actually put branding. I already mentioned that uh, in my video okay but OBS can help me to put a lot of videos if you notice I put my video I put uh, uh, I can actually show you one more thing that is this okay I can have my browser behind me so 
this is one good thing about OBS and this is actually how a lot of people actually created very interactive Facebook Live or uh, interactive videos. So this is actually how uh, they actually do it. That's actually using OBS. Again, it's a free uh, software. So um, as you can see behind me, this is Creative Commons. Uh, I did mention about it in Plotagon. Creative Commons is... Uh, uh, okay, sorry about this. Wait, ah... Uh, Okay, Creative Commons is actually something that we all of us have to know, okay? Uh, because it is, uh, as I said yesterday, there's copyright and there's copyleft, so in the middle, that's Creative Commons. So uh, this is the website for Creative Commons, and you can actually go to the website, let's just say, uh, once you have created something, all right, uh, media or music or videos, you want people to use it, but you still want to have your copyright. You can actually come to this Creative Commons website and go to the Share My Work. All right, you click on Share My Work, you can actually see down here, all right, how to choose the license. All you have to start choosing, okay. Once you start choosing, then they will ask you a few simple questions, okay. Uh, allow adaptation of your work, yes. You can click no or as long as they share a like, that's up to you. And then uh, let's just say I allow them. Allow, uh, this is, allow commercial use of your work. You can choose to allow them. If they, you allow, uh, you allow commercial use, which means that they, other people can use your media and they can actually uh, make money out of it. But the money doesn't go to you, it goes to them because you allow them to for commercial use. So you need to be careful regarding this. So you once you have actually clicked, let's just say no, then this is the license that you have for your Creative Commons. Then all you have to do is at the bottom here, all right, at the bottom here, okay, just copy this particular logo and paste it inside your media. All right, and then you can copy the URL. Then other people, the media, they click on the URL, they will come to this web page. They will know how to use your uh, intellectual property. Okay, so that is Creative Commons. Now, the next thing that my lecturer actually taught us about, all right, it's actually called a uh, YouTube channel. All right, so for YouTube channel, okay, let's go to YouTube channel. This is my new YouTube channel. Okay, uh, I used to have uh, a YouTube channel that is under uh, a yes email. All right, whereby that particular email, actually I have a lot of views over there by educational views that I did back in 2013. There, uh, the last that I checked, there was 23,000 people viewing that video. But um, because that email uh, is already inactive, so I decided to shift it and create a brand new YouTube channel. All right, why do I actually create a brand new YouTube channel? It's because that I'm going to centralize all my videos here and it's going to be easy for me to manage later on. And uh, most important thing is that back regarding uh, the Creative Commons that I mentioned just now, um, I noticed one thing very important is um, when I learn Creative Commons and when I learn about YouTube channel, Okay, uh, my lecturer actually taught us this particular thing in YouTube uh, is that you have to be very careful with what you post online on YouTube especially. So I'm going to show you one thing, I gonna copyright claim. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, let me open that. Okay, I'm going to switch account. Give me a minute. Okay, I have some technical technical stuff right now. Let me switch that. Sorry, ah, uh, delay a bit, ah. Uh. Okay, let me switch, switch, switch. Okay, this one. Okay, all right. This particular channel. This was my other channel. Okay, why am I showing this to everyone? Because I cannot copyright claim. Alright, if you can see, let me adjust this in a while. Okay. Okay, I'm sure my lecturer gonna say how come didn't do things properly. <laughs> okay. If you can see over here, alright, this is my YouTube channel. 
what happened here is that I gonna copyright strike. I copy gonna copyright strike. Why? Because of this few videos. If you can see over here, this few videos are actually videos um that was create uh recorded using my handphone during the prefects installation in my school last year, and uh it's actually live video recordings. But the copyright claim was hit because of the soundtrack that was being played over the PA system on the stage in the hall. So it wasn't because of what the video was recording, but uh, it was the audio that came out from the PA system. And over here you see there's copyright claim. And I, when I browsed over it, it says, this video was found to contain copyright material. As a result, it cannot be monetized by the uploader. So what does this mean? It means that the rightful owner allowed me to continue using to uh, share this video out. But if my video actually hits the allowed, um, the qualified uh, video to make money, all right, I won't be able to get a single cent of, out of it. Why? Because there is the rec the the music recording that was actually in there so i couldn't get that lah okay so that is the that's the reason why you need to learn about copyright copyleft and creative commons all right so that's about uh youtube okay so enough regarding youtube so um see uh what i have been learning so far is actually all this thing that i've been learning in my production of multimedia or else i wouldn't have the chance to actually know all this thing if i didn't further my studies so um what other things that i need to mention is that my skills all right the knowledge that i've learned all this are a uh, very valuable knowledge but most important thing is the skills that i actually learned throughout this uh course all right uh what kind of skills let me show you um the lesson recording skills for my online classes the video recording skills the video editing skills to produce even more better videos okay so i'm going to show you what i did uh this was a video that i created last year all right let me okay this is a video that i actually created last year i just used my handphone i used my tripod and then i recorded it then once I record, I bring it back home. I have to edit it using the the Filmora application, uh, if I'm not wrong. So, um, from this, okay, this was the extent that I thought was very good enough already. All right, but after learning production of multimedia, I managed to get this video to this type of video, my Angry Bird video that I actually shared out previously. So, uh, this is actually the this is the skill difference that I learned a lot like um, even from last previous week right if you notice that image of me and this current image of me the difference between these two I find it quite interesting because uh, I w want to do a better presentation a better video so I keep searching or uh, finding other methods I discussed with my course mate uh, I did ask my lecturer so in order to get a clearer picture compared to having that picture lah, okay? So that is what I have learned a lot, right? The skills to do better in my videos, alright? So, okay. Um, what I have been learning all this thing, I really want to thank to the my lecturer, Dr. Muhammad Sharil, alright? So, uh, but one thing, if you want to do better videos, I would suggest you, you have to invest in some technologies. My lecture mentioned this in the very first class. Please make sure you invest in some technologies. So uh, because I am studying a course called the uh, Science Education with Information Technology. So I actually went and buy a new laptop. All right. I even go and buy some new lightings. And then um, I don't have to buy a green screen because I have a green color cloth from Christmas decoration. So I try to get some new stuff in order for me to make a better video. So uh, that's a good advice. If any one of you want to be a YouTuber influencer, you need to invest. All right, you need to invest in technologies. Okay, so at the end of my Facebook live, all right, thank you so much to Yup. I think you're still watching my Facebook live. Okay, and I think there's a few more person watching it. Okay, um, 
so uh, at the end of this, I want to thank my cosmate, uh, my teammates of the Gen Z Infinity, uh, Azwa, Gita, Fatin. Um, even though we don't have any group works for this semester due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but we always help each other. We keep discussing with uh, to problem shoot all the problems that we have. So really, thank you so much to all of you. Uh, special thanks to our lecturer, Dr. Muhammad Cheryl Nizam, for teaching and guiding us to produce even better multimedias that can help help us uh, in our online teaching and also over here I'm gonna take some time special thanks to my parents my husband uh, my mother-in-law my two girls my grandma who is helping me a lot uh, my auntie my cousin and all my relatives and also all my viewers out there who have been supporting my work I hope that you will continue to support uh, what I'm gonna be doing in the future but Please, before you actually close this video and say bye-bye to me, yeah, please make sure one thing, make sure that you follow me on my Facebook page, alright? My Facebook page is actually called Eunice Leong, alright? Uh, that is my Facebook page. Okay, this is my Facebook page. Remember to follow me on my Facebook. And also, please remember to follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, this is my YouTube channel. Where is it? Da -da -da. Okay, my YouTube channel is somewhere. Alright, but anyhow, you can find it over here. My footer, my YouTube channel is here, Eunice Leong Mei San. Alright, please make sure that you find my channel that has that particular logo. Alright, that is my current active YouTube channel. So, um, that's all from me today. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for everyone who's actually viewing for the past half an, almost half an hour already. So, that's all for my sharing. I hope to be doing another FB Live next week. So please do help and wait for me, support me. Alright, that's all. Thank you. Bye.